So I guess in this episode, I completely and utterly forgot to record an intro. So <laughs> here's the intro for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoy the episode. Catch ya. What's that little cat icon there? Ooh, this is a new NPC, I think. Phoneus. That we live three summer days, I could fill my heart with such delight, more than 50 common years. Ooh, Ambrosia, increased curse attack damage. Choose a blueprint, choose a follower form, choose commandant. Oh shit, sorry Phoneus, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just grab the new tarot card, fuck it. Oh, I think there's a new amount of tarot cards too. Very cool, very cool. Thank you Phoneus. Very nice of you. Kill the snail. Gooseon. There we go. Not bad at all. So here I want the pumpkin seeds. Whoa, this is a new enemy. Would appear that he's connected to these guys, allowing them to be invincible for a time. And he teleports away every hit. Hmm. Seems that we got the, um, Phineas again, I think his name is. Yeah. I guess that's for free when he when I pick that but when I pick a tarot card it costs money very cool oh there's another snail I think the snails are new I don't remember seeing them but then again my memory is pretty bad so who knows God damn, this weapon's OP. What the fuck? I don't remember a weapon being this OP. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? Chmack. Ah, ah, the red crown. And you, beast. Godly. Come, I have tools to give, yes? Crafted by Chamak. My brothers, they might have pretty things, but my power. Powerful things. Will you look? Will you take? What will you give in turn? Your flesh? Your bone? Your crown? <laughs> I just, I joke. I won't take anything. Nothing for Chamak. Relics. Athral's powder box. Use a random relic. Charge speed is average. Teroa's tentacle. Spawn a tentacle that inflicts damage when touched. Exorcist's finger. Summon a demon to assist in battle. Fragile. Stahi's tongue. Spawn bombs across the room. Shunru's charm, decrease in size. Kadai's toenail, summon a new curse with an increased level. Tail for the slither, poison all active enemies. Allah's teeth, rain down a storm of lightning upon the non-believers. Toe of the ice core, freeze all active enemies. Seal of the bishops, freezes time for a short duration. Laplace's dice, 50% chance to heal a heart, or a 50% chance to gain a spirit heart. Galvar's charm, increase in size. Clonak's hair, deal damage to all enemies based on the amount of tarot cards you hold. Can I take one of them? I guess I can't. Oh, it just gives me it. 
Relics are powerful items imbued with the power of faith. They can be used to perform attacks or special actions. Relics can be used once they are fully charged. Charge them by dealing damage to non-believers. Some relics can be used multiple times, while others are fragile and can only be used once. Ah, ah, my pretty creations, holy pieces of revered beings. They hunger, yes. Crave the power that was once there, yeah. Feed them, yes. They are hungry, hungry for miscreant flesh. Let them feed. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> that's fucking sick! <laughs> ah, yeah. Better than silly card. Better than pointy sword. Chamak is better. <laughs> Little god will come again. Chamak will give relic. Chamak will make relic. Chamak will make relic out of you one day. Bye-bye! Totally not creepy, but I love it. I really like this whole new gameplay style. It's very different to what it was when I was playing. Especially this new character, Chamak or Kemak. Kem Kemach? I feel like it's Chamak. Oh, that's cool. It does damage to, like, everything and one hits everything. That's really nice. Now, what's this question mark? Are you kidding me? Bro, are you serious? Bro, what the fuck was that, man? Ooh, more lore. Sister Chamak's madness was foreseen in the first turn of the cards drawn by her own kin, as I have always done. Is destiny the grail which must be pursued, or the force which drives one onward? Come, let us draw once more. The first card, a beacon. The second, a shadow. The third, something lost, or perchance taken. Card inverted, it must be sought. The cards speak a relic call. Yours to see and to claim. Decrease in size. Ah, uh, does it get rid of my relic? No fucking way, dude. Bruh, are you serious, man? Dog. I just go back to regular size, do I? No. I just stay tiny the whole time, I see. I can see some kind of merit in this, I suppose. But still not very much. Ah, it's my favorite one, Zapa. Am I just being ignored here? What am I? Chopped liver. Fuck, I can't even see myself. No, this relic's okay. This relic goes all right. Not bad, not bad. Man, this game's getting so cool. <laughs> this game's getting so fucking cool, man. I gotta say. This is sick. Probably should have done the sermon when I introduced the new followers. That probably would have been smarter. I wanted to see what this Kudai's blessing is. Resummon a weapon of curse, but its level will be reduced by one. Only works in the entrance ring. Not my favorite. We're going to do Curse of the Occultist. Find the relic from Clawnex Clue. Mm, I think I gotta find his relic, maybe. Because it did say Clawnex here. 
Ethriel's Powder Box. Use a random relic. Once of gods, now godly power contained. Dude, Chimak is fucking sick. Oh, uh, fuck it. Yeah, we'll take that. Now we get to see all the relics in game. So now I don't have to skip all of this stuff. And we can just look at the cool new stuff that we got going on over here. Man, they've added such a fresh new um, take on the game to be able to add relics that are really, really cool. Like this is, and I think they even said that this was the first of two major updates that they were going to do. Your relic beast. I see Chamak sustains herself still. Their creation begets destruction, as nature demands. Hatched were we in the bosom of the last of the first gods, to bestow godly instruments and yet never wield them ourselves, as nature demands. Some place, I feel darkness, something of me now in the belly of some great beastie, and through their bones laughter. Seek this relic in this place. Seek this relic in this place. Is there a relic in here? Is there? I like how all the NPCs as well know. So I guess that... I guess uh, Chamak is the sister of Klawneck and... Um, oh fuck, I've already forgotten his name. I've already forgotten his name. Oh shit. I had one more room to look. That was probably Klawneck's room. I fucked up. Shoot. Alright, let's see if Paquette's changed. Uh, I don't remember. I think it might have. It seems I have also forgotten to record an outro for this video. So what I will do is I'll cut it off here and I'll see you all in the next episode when we go to see what's up in Kalamar's region. Hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening and night and I'll catch you all later. Bye.